Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceOurStore.com. This is the uh, Factory 5 Racing uh, Coupe 65. So in a previous video, it was a little bit of a teaser where we had it in our enclosed trailer. Uh, we just got back from the client's home and uh, now we have it unloaded. So now you get a better visual um, of what it looks like. It's got uh, a lot of potential here for sure. So you couldn't really tell in the video, but if our, our camera person gets a little bit closer, um, you can see the, the, where these are all the um, fastening points uh, from the molds. And you can see, hopefully it shows up in the camera. So there's a lot of the adhesive that's bled through. The seams aren't anywhere near being smooth. So you're going to catch your, your hands on, the, on all of the ridges. Um, that's something that you don't really see until the car arrives. Um, and then you can see along the front nose here. So where there's pieces, you can see there's a couple holes through here. Um, so in terms of the detail part, there's going to be a lot of detail work that's going to be required in the body uh, before it gets to be painted. So um, as I mentioned in the earlier video, this is not fastened in any way. This is basically just slid on and believe it or not, we just used our uh, 100 mile an hour duct tape uh, to hold it in place for shipping. So this is just to give you a visual of what it's going to look like. We'll remove the tape, we'll show you how nice the chassis and engine is uh, in the next video. But I just wanted to briefly, uh, before it gets too loud here in the shop, it's a really nice body style in my opinion. You can see we have the cutouts here. This is for the latch and venting. And then down here we're going to have the, uh, uh, the special pipes that are going to come up the side. So we've got the dual pipes. Uh, that come down the side. Obviously we have the little door shells um, that will be uh, fitted. And as we mentioned in the earlier video, when Factory 5 Racing makes these bodies, um, everything is a little bit larger than um, what needs to be. So these doors will need to be measured and trimmed down. Uh, the front nose is going to have to be uh, shaved and trimmed and then adjusted. So there's quite a bit of body work. Uh, that will be required later on, but right now we're just going to go through the mechanical stuff, the rest of the dry fitting. So the client has bolted the body on. He's got a lot of the stuff done in the dash, as we mentioned in an earlier video. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of the parts, and uh, there's a lot of things we're still going to need to do. There's some difficulty uh, with the side pipes and flanges and fit, so we're going to uh, have to work on that quite a bit. And then we come to the back of the car. You can kind of see it in the trailer, but now you see the overall lines. Um, my opinion, it's a very, very pretty car. Uh, in one of the boxes, we've got numerous boxes. One of them is going to have the rear wing. Um, so um, we're basically going to do, just check over all the mechanical, the wiring. There's a lot of things uh, that will need to be dry fitted and drilled. So things like the uh, mirrors, uh, the doors will have to be trimmed and fit. Uh, we're going to do the fuel filler. So we're basically going to pre-assemble virtually the whole car, make sure everything's adjusted properly, and then we'll do uh, the body work. And it's probably going to be uh, blue and white, and our client has a favorite number 18. So this will be race car number 18. Um, as the camera person comes up the side, the driver's side, uh, you can see the wheels. Love these um, Shelby-style wheels. And uh, they're the graphite gray with the brushed aluminum and then we'll have the spinners, I'm sure, is in one of the boxes. So uh, there's a few things that we're probably going to change or tweak. Uh, one of the things that makes this car correct in the front nose, they have a normal sealed beam here, and then uh, they have two um, amber bulbs that they drill holes through here, and they have a marker and a signal. Personally, I don't care for that look, so I think what we're probably going to do is we won't uh, do the marker signal in the front nose, we'll get uh, the headlights that have the amber uh, lens in the very bottom center of the headlight and it'll be the amber color for marker and signal. I think that'll be a cleaner look for the front. Uh, the other thing that's kind of weird is if you're looking through this front nose, they don't really finish this part off and this aluminum piece um, looks to be too short. So um, we'll do something in here to make that look uh, quite a bit better, I think, and we'll raise this so it goes under uh, the underside of that, and then we're probably going to do something in a textured black. We'll come up with something that will clean that up. So we'll have lots of ideas. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we'll have the hood off, the whole front nose off. We'll show you how nice Factory 5 uh, engineers their chassis. You can see how nice it looks in the front section, and then we'll get it on the hoist and start with the dry fitting. 
So I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoStore.com.